No, that's not possible. Emily can't be pregnant. Oh, I saw the chart. I spoke to her doctor. She's pregnant, which is pretty remarkable, considering her fall from the cliff. She didn't fall, Susan. She jumped. How far along is she? The doctor's assuming that Emily got pregnant during the, uh, I guess you'd call it their honeymoon. Paul got released from prison. Yeah, I get the picture. They are married, Meg. I have to go. Go away. You got what you wanted. Kim, this is not... Don't call me that. I'm not going through with the pregnancy. We'll pretend it never happened. Like we never met. I know that this was a difficult decision for you and that you're in a lot of pain and you probably you probably feel pretty lousy so i'm not going anywhere i'm going to stay right here until you're done with the procedure and this is my responsibility i don't too. want to be your responsibility i thought you got that we're over you've moved on to meg go i don't want to keep you from her you're angry you know i I used to think if you could read my moods, it meant you loved me. But if there's one thing I can say about jumping off a cliff and somehow surviving, it's that you can't lie to yourself. You don't love me. And whether you ever did or how much doesn't matter anymore, you don't love me. So just, you should go. I don't want to argue anymore, okay? I don't want this trip to hurt Look, you. I'm not going to argue with you, all right? Well, let me stay here. Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll sit over there. I'll take care of all your paperwork. Oh. I'll make sure you get home. Oh, Paul Ryan, Saint. Pardon me. But it would make you feel better, wouldn't it? Do you feel like you were helping me? Yeah, you would. Get out. If you think I'm going to let you use me so you can feel better, get out. So you could go around town telling everybody you held my hand, you helped me through it. Get out. If you, if you need anything. I won't okay. call you. Meg, you all right? Do I look okay? What, what happened? You happened, Paul. You know, I should have listened to my mother, to everybody. Even Emily warned me not to get next to you. What are you talking about? You just called me. You left this really sweet message. We're going to have dinner. You want dinner? Well, it's on the floor. I, I, I don't understand. What, what, what changed? <sighs> Let's just ask Emily, shall we? That's over. No, it's not over. Not now. You know, I can't believe I let you do this to me. First Dusty, and now you. What, 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 what? I, I, I don't know what I've done, okay? You made me trust you, okay? I, 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 and I even stood there and watched you marry her in, in a jail cell. I had to. I... You know, I don't want to hear it, okay? I bought it. I bought it. And when you had to sleep with her for 18 reasons, I bought that too. And then I had to watch you bring her back from the dead. Well, what was I supposed to do? Just sit there, watch her die? No. No, of course not. She is the mother of your child. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I am. I'm sorry. I really wanted you to hear that from me. Oh, you know, that would have been so much better. I, I, I just found out. Emily just found out. They, 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 they figured it out. It was a routine blood workup. I... You knew you'd be sleeping with her. We talked about it. And you didn't use protection? I, it was, it was that one time, and, yeah. Are you 16? That's all it takes.
Thanks, Paul. You're upset. I'm upset. But I talked to Emily. It's really, it's gonna be okay. I don't get it, do you? She will never be out of our lives. A and I can't take it. I won't. She's not keeping the baby. She's in no condition to carry a pregnancy to term. She's going to prison. She, she decided that terminating the pregnancy was the only sensible solution. <laughs> Emily, sensible. You know, I don't care what she told you, but there is no way she's getting rid of your child. Coming up.